I've got the touch. I've got the power. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Project Power. This is a new movie that just came out on Netflix. And it's a kind of a combination of a few different superhero slash odd action-packed films, overly stylistic films. Oddly enough, Crank came to mind. Uh, Push, that Chris Evans movie back from like 2009 came to mind. And funny enough, all of the meagerness of those films also came into this film as well. The concept of the film is about the idea of a drug, a small little pill capsule called Power that's going around New Orleans and people are taking it and having superpowers for five minutes. The essential idea of the film is that New Orleans is kind of the test haven for fancy looking Xerxes here for distributing and figuring out the patents and how the drug works and it's basically an illegal but effective testing ground to see how it works. This sounds like a really stupid plan. We see some pretty cool powers admittedly in this film. That's something that I did enjoy is that everyone has kind of their own power, their own randomized sort of idea. It wasn't really described as to whether it was random every time. It more so looked like it was your own power. You just would keep getting this power every time. For instance, Machine Gun Kelly's in this and he can turn on fire. Probably the hottest he's been since Eminem's kill shot. Oh! And admittedly, his sequence at the beginning of the film was a cool blend of visual effects and some practical. I actually think it's probably the best sequence in the movie is this fight scene between him and Jamie Foxx in this apartment building with the fire effects. For the most part, the effects in this film are actually pretty strong. There's a lot of really cool visual interpretations, designs in terms of how the powers work, how they interact with the world. Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character has the ability to basically armor up like a lizard. And on top of that too, I actually really did like how this film was shot. The camera's really dynamic. It's kind of like a bit of a Bay-esque sort of camera technique, except a lot less sporadic and a lot more focused but still visually telling the story for you and it kind of needs to do this because the story is as basic as it comes it's so predictable that you can basically do a call out of every single part that's coming in the movie the entire climax i was essentially yep that's gonna happen that's gonna happen and that's a bit of an unfortunate let down for this film considering the uniqueness of its concept i did like its little social message about the idea of the power with the plebs doesn't matter in terms of the power with the higher ups because they are only just allotting the power to the smaller, the lesser types as an illusion that they have their own sort of free will when really it's all up to the upper heads. But then it loses itself at the end of the movie and becomes a very run of the mill Oh, here's the bad guy. Let's shoot all the other bad dudes. In terms of the acting, everyone's kind of okay in it. Jamie Foxx is just playing, I swear he's played this character before. I like Joseph Gordon-Levitt's kind of on the ball, sort of off the cuff sort of cop, but is still a good person. And then the main girl in this film, she's kind of the powerhouse. She is the leading force of the film. She, for the most part, is pretty good until the script tells her to kind of do stuff that's just so fucking basic. Project Power is a fun idea. I liked its concept. Maybe if it had a little bit more time in the writing room, it could have broadened its aspect to rather than just a unique concept, make it a unique story because I watched this yesterday and I already forgot a lot of it. So in the end, I'm gonna give Project Power a three out of seven. I think it's okay. It was cool to watch and the action was pretty decent. It just is unfortunately incredibly predictable. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.